we've been busy filming vlogs all week but I passed Kitty J's grave today which is quite a famous location on Dartmoor and it's got a good ghost story surrounding it so I thought I'd just upload a little video for Pancake Day of the haunting of Kitty J's grave. <laughs> Enjoy! Back in the late 18th century, 1790 some say, an orphan baby was taken into the poorhouse at Newton Abbott. The little girl was named, as was the custom, with a surname beginning with whatever letter the poorhouse had progressed to, in this case, J. She was given the Christian name Kitty. Kitty remained at the poorhouse until her teens where she supervised the younger children. She was then sent to a farm which was located outside Manhattan. Here she was able to be employed as an apprentice which meant she would work both in the house and on the fields. This was to be a hard life as the task load was heavy, the days long and the rewards few. Not long after she had been at the farm, she started to receive the attentions of the farmer's son, which at the time may have seemed a way of obtaining some security and a sense of worth. Sadly, as in many similar cases, she fell pregnant and soon discovered that her meaning of worth was very different to that of the farmer and his wife. The end result was that she was thrown out of the farm and left with a reputation. She knew only too well once word got around she would never find employment in the area and only left the prospect of returning in disgrace to the poor house. Tragically, Kitty J took the only other option and was found hanging in one of the barns. As was custom of the day, Kitty could not be buried in the church grounds and had to be buried in the crossroads. Some say she was buried with a stake driven through her hearts to ensure her restless soul could not return to haunt God-fearing mortals. The grave soon became known as Jay's grave and it did not take long for strange events to start taking place. On certain moonlit nights, a dark figure could be seen kneeling beside the sad little mound with bowed head and its face buried in its hands. Nobody has been able to say if the figure was male or female because it was, it was always wrapped in thick black cloak. There are two schools of thought as to who the ghostly apparition is. Some say it's the spirit of one of those responsible for driving Kitty from the farm and others say that it's the soul of the faithless farmless son who as a punishment has been sent to stand vigil over the grave of his victim and unborn child. The other strange happening is associated with Kitty's resting place is the daily appearance of fresh flowers on the grave. Nobody has ever seen leaving them, but no matter what time of year, there are always flowers, posies or greenery sat on the lonely mound. Tradition says that the flowers are the work of Pixies who out of sympathy tend the grave throughout eternity. As you can see, we were at the grave really early in the morning, so the flowers there weren't very fresh and strangely there have been some carrots left. Fresh flowers do still appear though on a daily basis, even through lockdown it's still reported they are being left there. Years ago there was an eccentric author who lived close by and it was just assumed that she was going up to the grave daily and putting the flowers down. However, she died several years ago and the flowers are still appearing. A few years after the grave appeared, local tradition said that the bones in the grave were animal bones. William Crossing and subsequent Dartmoor writers quoting him note that sometimes in the mid to late 18th century, a local farmer called James Bryant from Hedge Barton opened the grave and found a human skull and bones. A doctor named Jay Sparrow examined the bones and later declared that the skull was that of a female. The farmer had the bones placed in a box and put back in the spot where they were discovered. He then built the mound over the grave and set up the headstone. So that's the end of the story of Jay's grave. No matter what time of year, whenever you pass the grave, you will always see fresh flowers, sometimes wildflowers, sometimes garden flowers. No one knows who puts them there or why, but poor Kitty Jay has been remembered far longer than the superstitious country folk who originally buried her there.